Hey everybody, it's your Barada Zen and I'm a wake up artist. My passion is bringing awareness around the powerful being that we really are and the connection that we can have with the creator and the spirit. This is your weekly energy update. And what we do in these is look at the energies that are coming up for the week to see what advice the creator and spirit have for us for this. So I wanted to also announce a contest that I'm going to be having and it starts right now. It's when I reach 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'm going to be giving away 10, yes, 10 one hour personal readings for 10 lucky individuals. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and selected the little notification bell, do so because once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will be putting out a special video telling you how you can enter for that contest. For this week, for this energy update, we're looking at July 24th through July 31st, and we have the Leo New Moon happening on July 28th this week. It'll be around 11.54 Mountain Standard Time, so almost around noontime Mountain Time. And of course, Leo is ruled by the Mighty Sun, which represented by this beautiful yellow crystal ball. And the, you know, the sun, kind of burns away the blocks or the restrictions that we have allowing for the fiery energy of the sun and of Leo just to come forth. And that will allow us to have like this uh, more fun in our lives without those restrictions, without those blocks. We kind of almost return to almost like a childlikeness where we have adventure and creativity. It also can bring in the chance for a little romance. And it's kind of like this bucket list checkoff time. We get to seek our passions and the, our joy and, you know, those things that make our hearts sing. So I'm excited to see what this reading brings forth for us. And I'm going to have, of course, a reading for each of the individual zodiac signs. So we're going to jump into yours right now. All right, Scorpios, this is your weekly energy update, and we're going to be starting off by pulling a card here from the Celebration of Love deck, and any of the cards I use in our reading I do list in the description box below. Just give these a good shuffle, and we'll check on the general energies. So what does Crater and Spirit want our Scorpios to know about this Leo and Sun energy? Okay, that would be it right here. And you have a Celebration Temple Interlude. So I love that celebration. Definitely joy, 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 which is what we talked about with the Sun and Leo energy coming in. And you can see like a temple way back over here. It does have this feeling here. The celebration, just the word, brings to me the Three of Cups energy, which is all about connecting uh, to our higher spiritual guides and our spiritual posse of support on the other side. You know, we have our uh, the Creator and Spirit, of, of course, and then also we have like our Guardian Angel, our, all of our angels, our spirit guides, our loved ones who are on the other side, our ancestors, just a whole slew of beings of unconditional love and light on the other side. And this temple interlude for me is about uh, really focusing in on that connection, taking time away from all of that chaos and loud noise of the outside world and just really connect to that unconditional love and the essence of who we are, which is a being of peace and joy and laughter. And so I love this kind of nudge toward that. Now the little book says this image celebrates the magical and mystical energy of ceremony. It calls us to create our own tradition to connect with the divine. Let us hold it and cherish it with reverence and sacredness and pass it on to share it with those we love. Create a little personal action that only you know about that connects your consciousness with the divine. It can be three playful taps of your pointer figure, a quick smile aimed at the sky, scrunching your toes, or something that lets you know 
I choose to acknowledge now I am in the energy of the divine. Wow, I love it. Perfect with what I was talking about. And then the special message here is you are being inspired to release and forgive any hurt or issues you've had with any past religious or spiritual affiliations. Forgive and move on. It is now about your direct connection with the Creator. Wow. Yeah, we talked about, too, the sun burning away a blocks. And with any organized religion or spiritual practices, if there's humans involved, chances are we had conflict of some sort where someone said something a certain way or did something that caused the little child in us to feel the pain, to feel neglect, to feel, you know, not appreciated. And that can create blocks to our spirituality. And I love how this is like allowing you to understand that those were humans. I know when I had a point in my life where a huge uh, spiritual moment, I, um, t you know, told the creator that I uh, was going to, you know, live my life the way that um you know was in my heart and i knew that wasn't going to please some people and the creator was like this there was like this part that happened and the creator was over here and all the humans were over here and he was like you know i want you to be happy i i love you unconditionally he goes sometimes my children can get it a little you know confused because they're in the world of conditional love and so sometimes there's judgments and there's fears and stuff that cause them to react in a way that they're scared and they're freaking out and that kind of just un unfolds and overflows onto each other right so he basically was saying i love you sorry for what happened with my children but that wasn't me and that's kind of the message i'm kind of getting for you here too we're also going to pull from this Spirit Junkie deck and see what else they'd like to add to that. And one more time. All right, so what else for our Scorpios would you like them to know? Okay, they want this one right there. And this has my genuine desire to serve clears the path for me to step into my purpose. Yeah. <laughs> so I love this with a connection here that you make to the upper worlds, to the higher realms. It does connect you in with understanding your true purpose you know we i talked about we have all our fear-based human stuff that we're given all these opinions on who you're supposed to be should be need to be have to be must be or should do you know all this rules and all this kind of restrictive stuff but as you connect to the higher realms you get in connection with your unconditional love and then you understand this passion that comes about how you uniquely want to share your unconditional love with the world not according to everyone else's restrictions but you're able to express yourself freely as you forgive and we've passed those spiritual blocks as well we are going to look at the true heart intuitive tarot and get more clarity around this too just to see what else they want you to know about this energies all right so what else for our scorpios please Okay. <laughs> so we do have those three. And they did want the one from the bottom as well. So we'll add that in and we will see what we have here. What more information about this energies. And you got the four of swords, the peace of mind card. Because swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes. And the three of swords before this does represent our expectations on heartbreak and disappointments. So I kind of feel like this is what's happening here is your understanding. You're getting a hold of some capital 
fundamental T truths that are connected to unconditional love, which are allowing you to cut away those small T truths of the human side, of the fear side we talked about. So some of those judgments, some of those experiences that happened, those beliefs, you're cutting away and slicing away, which does bring in the stability, the peace of mind. Because fours, think of it like a table, four huge uh, legs on a table. It's a very solid foundation. So the, this would be a solid uh, mental state coming in. So some of the conflict that you had before you're letting go, like it, like it mentioned in here. And then you have the Queen of Wands. Wands is your energy. Your, it's your drive, ambition, passion, inspiration. So with this coming in here, I do feel that you are uh, getting a lot of that energy back that you were investing in those old resentments and those old pains. And that energy that was lost to those causes and invested in those is coming back to you now. The Queen of Wands also usually in most decks would have a, a black cat on there because all the queens, in addition to ruling over their suit uh, or the element, which is fire in this case, which is fire, right? Uh, they also have water, which is your emotions, your intuition, your connection to the higher realms. And so with that combination between the two, this is a very intuitive card, which represents you connecting to the spirit realm, like we had mentioned, making state um, steps, making movement towards your purpose and very clear, decisive, uh, energetic and fruitful ways. So I love that this is coming in here with you with this discovery of your purpose as well, because it's the combination of the two um, coming in. Think of like someone going through a maze and the, the you know walls are so high you can't see over them and you are reach a point in your life where you either have to go left or right because you've reached a dead end. She is able to connect to the higher realms and she trusts her relationships she's developed with them to where I call it the eye in the sky. And they look down and uh, can see uh, the entire maze. And we can ask them, you know, which is the best way for me to go left or right for my highest experience here? And they're like, take a right. And you're like, OK, you take a right. People are like, oh, my gosh, how can you make that decision and not freak out about it? And she doesn't feel like she's taking a risk because of the relationship she has developed there. And she's able to make movement and go through it fast, go through the maze fast because she doesn't have to sit there and fear about what decision she's making. She trusts her gut and she trusts her intuition. And again, trust her connection to the higher realms. So beautiful there. And then you have the temperance card. So the alchemist, the balancing, the balancing out of things, you have the higher cup of above and the lower cup of below. So it is this balancing out of both living your life in the human world and then also having, you know, one foot in the spiritual because you got one on land and then you have one in the emotional, the subconscious. So you have feet in both worlds. Uh, it's kind of like um, very, it's very Aquarian uh, energy, you know, especially the, the water bears, the star card um, kind of looks a little along those lines too, where, um, it's like having one foot on earth and one foot in heaven and you're able to have the concept and understanding of both sides of things understanding your human experience but also understanding you're more than human that you also are a powerful supernatural eternal spirit being and so it's bringing that beautiful love into this this world into that place it's almost like the magician card in a way and then you have the six of discs so, or six of pentacles in a standard suit. So this is all about the giving and receiving into the outside world. <laughs> so kind of why you're talking a little bit about here too, of that you are expressing this love that you are with the world. And in doing so, you're, especially with your connection to the spirit world, you're allowing yourself to fill up with that love, with that awareness, with that wisdom, and then it overflows out to the world rather than being in a codependent relationship where you're giving, 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 giving until you're exhausted and you continue to give until you're resentful. You disconnect all these little uh, pipelines that have connected to the bottom of this barrel that is your life and your energy. 
because before everyone would suck you, you know, all this energy out of, uh, well, you actually are pushing out all this energy out to everyone else as your energy goes down, 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 and you never were full. You would get a little bit and give a lot more, get a little bit, give even more. And so that's where that resentment and that exhaustion comes in, in that kind of codependent relationship where you have a belief that you have to give and sacrifice before you're f full and whole and complete. Because if you're not giving to people, what worth are you to people? Why would they want to be around you? But as you connect to this unconditional love and this power of who you really are, you take away that barrel and you become the chalice. You become this beautiful um, holy grail that fills up with love. And once you're whole and complete and full, then that overflows out to everyone else. So there is this wonderfulness about having this root that comes in, this sharing of your purpose, the sharing of your love uh, in your own unique way with the world coming in here with us too. So I'm liking that. Then we'll use the everyday tarot to get some clarity around here. And I kind of feel like we want to know how or what or any information around how you're going to share your unconditional love with the world or discover your purpose, right? If you're not sure, especially if you've been giving of yourself over and over and over and over, you may not even know what your desires are because you've sacrificed yourself so much all the time, right? So what else would you like our Scorpios to know about this purpose and this giving and receiving? What else do you want them to know? Okay, they do want to that one and these two. Okay, so your first card is the Page of Cups. So here's the chalice, here's the Holy Grail. Pages are messengers, so messages of love, you know, from above. Um, but also this is the, the new love that you're receiving. So it very much uh, confirms what I was talking about. You become that. I mean, look at that. You're the fish enjoying your the fullness of the cup, whereas before you didn't, you always were uh, on dry land sacrificing yourself because <laughs> right? you gave up all your water to everyone else, right? And then you have the Empress. Yes, Mother Nature, Mother Nurture. So definitely taking care of yourself. But she's also creativity. She's new birth. She's that wholeness and that completeness and um, unconditional love. She hasn't have, you know, thinking of Mother Nature, she's out in nature. She's not in the big city with all the rules and the traffic laws and this law and this law. You know, she's out in, in nature where it has just its uh, the laws of nature and not of man. And so there's this freedom that comes from that as well. And I love, you know, just looking at it this way too. I mean, it almost looks like a close up of, of that picture. If you look at it from a distance, right? It's like, what does she have? <laughs> so I like that, uh, that they look very much the same here, even se the separate, uh, different directions there. And she has a little star on the top of that little vessel, which kind of reminds me of the Aquarius that we were talking about. And then you have the three of wands. So wands is your drive, your ambition, your inspiration. Um, you know, and the three of wands does represent like a change in direction. Again, another three, a three and a three. So creativity coming through again, expressing yourself. But the two of wands is like making plans towards something. And the, um, it's like taking some step toward it. So you have a new passion, you take steps toward it. But the three is like you've reached a point, you've made accomplishments, but now you're at the shores and it, literally they have like little ships in there. It's like, I'm going to head off in this direction and go this way on that ship. But with this new information, with the discovery of your purpose, you do have this change that happens in your life and you're not afraid to make that change. You're not afraid to alter course. Um, in that because now you're realizing that maybe you weren't living your dream, you were living someone else's dream out of fear of being rejected, but now you're really in getting this in tuneness to what your life purpose really is, what makes your heart sing, what brings you joy, and you want to stop surviving and existing and you want to start living, and that's going to make this change here. <laughs> yeah. 
because you're ready for a new journey, a new beginning. You're ready to take a leap off and doing something that's an adventure for you instead of feeling like it's work. You're ready to live, live life and head off on this new journey. So it's definitely a new beginning coming in. And we got the Empress new birth and the full new beginning too. And the, you know, a new path, a new way of expressing yourself to the world. So I'm loving this energy for you, which Scorpios, of course, you are the masters of transformation. Uh, transformation and you're ready you're always rediscovering and remaking yourself and now you're going to be remaking yourself in a, in a very joyful way with all of this coming in and then lastly we're going to pull your cards here from the chakra love deck this will be your final messages from spirit and the creator for you this week so for our scorpios what would you what are your final messages for them for this week please okay i feel like they went that one and that one So this fiery looking one that says abundance. The world is abundant when you choose to see it that way. Solar plexus, bright sunniness here. So you do have this change of attitude as well. When you focus your energy, and this is kind of a queen, queens of wands energy a little bit too. When you, whatever you focus your energy on is what grows and expands. So if you're focusing on what's missing, in your life, lack, 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 then lack, lack, lack grows, right? But if you focus on what you're grateful for and what you love having in your life, then that grows instead. So I love this abundance is all about your perspective and wherever you're focusing your energy is what grows. And then you have truth, the throat chakra, expressing your truth, right? Speak from your heart. It's the only thing worth listening to. So I'm going to put this over top of here because this is living your truth, expressing your truth. And it doesn't mean that you do it like a douchebag and, you know, or bah, rah, 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 this is my truth. You must submit and this is, you know, you must accept my truth is all truth. No, this is sharing from your heart in a very loving way. This is what I would like to do with my life. This is why I want to head. And I know, you know, if you're in a relationship or you have children, you have other responsibilities or you know, you have uh, shared responsibilities and different things. Sometimes you can't make that decision. Uh, you mean you could make the decision completely on your own and deal with the, the fallout from it. You know, hey, life is exciting. It's an adventure. But if you want to do it and include them in your life, then you might just talk to them. Like it says, it's sharing what you want with your life, asking them what they want, asking if it's children, what they want. And everyone might be like, you know what? I don't care to be in this large house. We can sell it and we can be in this smaller house. We don't have to work as much. We don't have to worry about all this stuff. We can pay off our bills. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we don't realize. We think we know what everyone else wants until we really share our truth and are vulnerable. And then they feel okay sharing their truth and what they truly want. And then that's sometimes it just um, solves a lot of, of our concerns, but also you learn what they want and you can kind of come up with a plan to make it all work, right? Because you're smart, you're intelligent, you can do it, right? So that is what I have for you for this message here. If you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these weekly energy updates, I also put out monthly readings for each zodiac sign and a few other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of these videos and be notified immediately when they become available, especially uh, like for that, uh, you know, the contest I talked about, once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will be putting out a specific video uh, announcing that and then how everyone can then um, put their names in to win one of the free 10 of those uh, one hour personal readings that will be announced this way. So if you don't want to miss out on that, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button, also click the subscribe button and that gives you access to the notification bell and make sure to go on the notification bell and then select the all option and then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on the channel also doing those things helps spread the love and it helps my channel grow in significant ways because when you like a video share a video comment on a video and especially subscribe to the channel doing those things makes the youtube algorithm so giddy happy it wants to share the videos of that channel with other people as well so if you feel inspired to do any of it i am of course very grateful for it 
And also these are general readings if you are looking for even more specific information and specific answers for your specific life. I do offer personal readings, of course, all the time. And if you are looking for that, I do have all that information listed in the description box below. All right, mighty Scorpios, as you go through this fantastic week, please know every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. I'm sure I'll be talking soon. In the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.